Good morning, grade 10 advanced. Today is Wednesday. We're going to take a new lesson in Unit 7, the lesson number 14. The title of our lesson is Your Way Around the World in the UAE. Learning objectives for this lesson in listening to develop learners' ability to listen for you guests and details in speaking to develop learners' ability to use transitional devices wireless to present information. To develop learners' ability to use transitional devices wireless to present information. Okay? By the end of this lesson, learners will be able to extract details while listening, research and summarize information to present it to other groups, to use transitional devices. Key vocabulary for this lesson, dumbling, a small ball of dew. You know the meaning of dew, flour and water mixed together, cooked and eaten with meat and vegetables. Ban fry as verb, to cook food in a ban, and a small amount of oil or fat. Ban fry as adjective, food is uh, pan fried here it is adjective it means food in uh, food is cooked in a pan in a small amount of oil or fat dough flour mixed with water and often yeast fat or sugar so that it is ready for baking cheerful happy and positive appetizer with s in British English or appetizer with z in American English a small amount of food eaten before a meal the word atmosphere has three meanings. The first one, the mood or tone at, the, at a place or situation. Second one, the mixture of the gases around the earth. The last meaning, the air that you breathe in a place. Okay? Mine, here as adjective, as adjective for food, used to describe food or a food flavor that is not very strong cuisine, a style of cooking. We have Egyptian cuisine, Emirate cuisine, viewing gallery, and area in a building or outside for viewing an activity or for viewing the surrounding scenery. Ingredients, the different items in a dish. We have some expressions here. Uh, actually, transitional words and phrases, for example, for instance, including such as a typical example is. Let's start our lesson. We are going to start our lesson with a few questions. Few questions, yes. Have you visited many Emirates in the UAE? Which one were your favorite and why? Have you tried restaurants in other Emirates? Did you like them? Did you like them? Of course, we are going to use our course book in, on page 58, workbook pages, uh, page uh, 43. We are going to use activities uh, 4 and 5, uh, audio track 67, and audio script. Uh, open your course book on page 58, activity 3, listening, you are going to listen to a conversation, uh, audio track 67, you are going to listen to a conversation, what are they talking about, you are going to choose from uh, A, B or C, choose one, A, B or C, so, we are going to listen to the listener together, so, Rashid, have you tried the new Italian restaurant that recently opened behind the mall? Yes, I did actually, but I wasn't very impressed. Why is that? Was the food bad? The food was okay. I just didn't like the service. For instance, the waiter wasn't friendly at all when I was asking about the ingredients in one of the dishes. I know what you mean. Bad service can really ruin your experience at a restaurant. Absolutely. But we went to this great Malaysian restaurant last weekend. You and your family should try it. Oh, we've never tried Malaysian. That sounds interesting. 
What kind of food do they serve? Well, it's mainly rice with different vegetables and sauces. A typical example is nasi lemak, which is basically steamed rice served with peanuts, cucumbers and boiled eggs. It sounds like a very healthy kind of cuisine. Recently, we've been going to different Indian restaurants. One of my favourites is only a few minutes away from our house, so it's perfect. We love Indian too. My children love eating the delicious Indian naan. Yes, same here. We love the variety they have. They've got vegetarian dishes as well as meat and chicken dishes, such as butter chicken, which is absolutely delicious. We had a bad experience a few weeks ago though. My wife ordered non-spicy food, specifically one of the lentil dishes, but when the food came everything was too spicy for her. Yeah, that's really annoying because it ruins your whole meal. Okay. Activity 4, you are going to listen again and you are going to choose true or false for each statement. Activity 5, look at these words from the conversation in the audio script to identify <clears throat> and see them in a context. What do they mean? We have for any stance, inside the box we have for any stance, a typical example is such as specifically including for instance, it means, for example, and we have exam here in the electronics industry, for instance, 5,000 jobs are being lost. A typical example is, you use typical to describe someone or something that shows the most useful feature, features or particular type of person or thing, and is therefore a good example of that type. Example here, Salah is a typical example of good student because he does all his homework in time such as it means for example that money is to cover costs such as travel and accommodation specifically for a particular reason purpose example here these jeans are designed specific specifically for children including used for saying that a person or thing is a part of a particular group or amount example eight, pe eight people eight people including two children were injured in the explosion why do uh, why were they used this phrase are uh, transitional words or transitional phrases the trans transitional devices or words were used in context to provide examples in speaking or writing. Let's move to the last activity in our course book. Activity number six. Choose three or four restaurants you, you know which serve different types of cuisines. Research and prepare information similar to, the, uh, to that in activities one and two in the previous lesson. Homework in your workbook pages 42, 43 activities 4 and 5. Activities 4 and 5. Okay, have a nice day. And bye bye.